Today, we are going to discuss propositions and logical symbols in logic. But before anything else, do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified for my upcoming videos. Thank you! Logic By definition, it is a study of reasoning. It is specifically concerned with whether reasoning is correct. It focuses on relationship among statements as opposed to the content of any particular statement. In this part, you have to guess whether the following sentences is a proposition or not a proposition. The carabao is flying. 1 is less than 4. Get 1 for sheet of paper. I am handsome. Okay, I will give you 10 seconds to think whether the following sentences is a proposition or not a proposition. Okay, time is up. The first sentence is a proposition. Second sentence is a proposition. Third sentence is not a proposition. And the fourth sentence is a proposition. But what is a proposition? Proposition is It is a sentence that is either true or false. A proposition is typically expressed as a declarative sentence as opposed to a question, command, etc. Propositions are basic building blocks of any theory of logic. Let us review the sentences that we had a while ago. The first sentence is, the carabao is flying, which is a proposition, because it is a false statement. The second sentence is, 1 is less than 4, which is a proposition, which is a true statement. And the third sentence we have, get one for sheet of paper, which is not a proposition because it is not a declarative sentence, it is a command. And the last sentence is, I am handsome, which is a proposition because it is a declarative sentence. Traditionally, to denote propositions, it is represented by lowercase letters. Usually, the letters are P, Q, R, S, and T. But you can use other letters. For example, the proposition P defined by the statement the carabao is flying the proposition q defined by the statement one is less than four proposition r defined by one plus one is equal to three and the proposition s is defined by a statement a decade is ten years and take note that a proposition can be a true or a false statement if it is true, we can assign value as T or 1. If it is false, we can assign value as F or 0. Compound proposition. It is a statement that contains one or more simpler statements. Compound propositions can be formed by inserting not, joining two or more propositions with connective words such as and, or, if, then, and, if, and only if. Okay, let us discuss propositions and logical symbols. We have negation. Let P be a proposition defined by a statement, I am famous. In symbol, we have tilde 
or the negation meaning not in logical notation we have negation p the statement is i am not famous always remember when we say negation we are going to associate the proposition to the word not or any words related to not the carrot or the circumflex meaning and in logical notation, we have P and Q. The statement is, I am famous and handsome. This junction statement. Symbol. It is called inverse caret. Meaning or in notation. P or Q Logical statement I am handsome or famous Conditional statement In symbol It is called implies Meaning If then In logical notation P implies Q Statement If I am famous Then I am handsome. By conditional statement, symbol, it is called equivalent, meaning if and only if, in logical notation, P equivalent Q, statement is, I am famous if and only if I am handsome. And now, we are going to translate logical symbols to compound statements. Let P be a proposition, I am innocent. Let Q be a proposition, I have an alibi. And let R be a proposition, I go to jail. The first symbol is P or negation Q. So we are going to translate this into a sentence or statement. I am innocent or I don't have an alibi. Second logical symbol is if negation P and Q, then R. So when we are going to translate this into compound statements, it is if I am not innocent and I have an alibi, then I go to jail. The third logical symbol is negation R equivalent to P and negation Q. I will not be in jail if and only if I am innocent and I don't have an alibi. Okay, and that ends our video lessons. Thank you for watching.